The Russian occupation forces in the Bakut area continue to increase pressure, in the hope of resolving the issue of the western and southwestern sectors before the new year. They need the former to create a bridgehead with the subsequent prospect of developing an offensive on Chasiv Yar, and the latter, primarily to create a security buffer for Ruto 5-13, which was threatened after the AFU liberated Andreevka and Klishivka, and went to the left side of the railroad. According to the latest data, Russian forces have concentrated 80,000 troops in the Bakhmut area. This is the peak value of the presence of enemy forces in the vicinity of the town during the entire time of the offensive. Even at the height of the Wagner Group offensive from 2022 to 2023, such a number of personnel was not recorded in the Bakhmut area. Nevertheless, there is an interesting point. The Russians used units of the 11th Brigade, which had been in reserve all this time. This brigade is very actively used in the direction of Ivanivsk, and for the command of the Russian paratroopers this is a chance to prove with blood and meat of their 11th Brigade, that they are capable of something. Therefore, I would not be surprised if the command is ready to lay down the whole brigade for the sake of this village, but to achieve the goal. Especially since to the east of Ivanivsk, the enemy lost several positions. In the area of Bogdanivka, the offensive has been reinforced by units of the 200th Brigade, which is trying to block several directions of the western sector. The southwestern sector is now under pressure mainly from the 72nd Brigade. In turn, these units have had no tangible success in their attempts to retake Klishivgan, and Rivka, and even on the contrary, as a result of systematic counterattacks by Ukrainian Defense Forces units, they were forced to withdraw from a number of positions. To summarize all of the above, the Russians are increasing pressure in the Bakhmut area. They set for themselves an obvious goal of getting to chase off Yar and are very much concerned about the logistical artery with Gorlivka. But in the current realities, despite the quantitative superiority, namely having concentrated in the area of the town almost 50% of the group of troops south, they cannot achieve some breakthrough results. Their creeping offensive a dozen meters a day, and sometimes with retreat, does not yet demonstrate the potential for a rapid leap and break through the Ukrainian defenses. But the pressure is too great, and in order to repel it, we need appropriate tools, the arrival of which on the battle line depends on Ukraine's partners. And this one's been really complicated lately. The commander of the Ukrainian group of troops Tavria gave an interview to Reuters, where he said that the Ukrainian offensive on some parts of the front has stopped due to the lack of sufficient ammunition from allies. Apparently, the commander is referring specifically to the Militopol direction. Now the AFU is using less ammunition than required. The situation is often saved by attack drones, but they do not replace artillery. At the same time, the military-industrial complex of Western countries is still just warming up, and plans for its more optimal deployment are scheduled not for next year, but for several years ahead.